Hey guys, in this video we're just going to have a bit of a talk about what's going on with bamboo um, at the moment. The start of the year is really uh, kicking everything off. So um, I own a, a Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon. It's been a great printer. I don't have any you know, issues with bamboo. Um, their products seem to work fine. Um, even though I own Coreality, I'm not biased towards either brand. Um, in other videos, I've always expressed that um, having it locked down to proprietary firmwares, um, stuff like that, and cloud connectivity kind of um, gives a bit of cause for concern because um, if the cloud goes down, you may not be able to use your printer and whatnot. And I've always said it, it is just one of those concerns, even though I've never really had a problem with it, apart from maybe my internet going down and um, not being able to print to the printer from my computer. Well, just recently, Bamboo's announced an update. So they're doing an update, which is going to be introducing a new authorization control system. And it's um, fairly technical, but it's mainly for the X1 series printers. And this changes the way that the printer is going to be able to be used. It's not going to prevent you from using the printer, but um, it's going to stop uh, third-party or non-authorized um, rights to the printer, meaning uh, controlling the printer. So you'll be able to pull information off the printer and read stuff, but you're not going to be able to command the printer to do stuff. And um, what that basically means is you may no longer be able to use things like Orca Slicer and stuff like that to directly print to the printer. Uh, you'll be locked down to their uh, slicer or their authorized programs. So um, this has ramifications really for the entire industry. Uh, don't just think because, you, you know, I don't have a bamboo printer or I own a Creality. Uh, that this doesn't affect me because we only need to look back at, um, say, Apple when they decided to, say, remove their headphone jack or the charger from the uh, from this sale of the phone. Everyone laughed. Even Samsung mocked them and said, oh, you've removed that, you know, in their adverts, only to follow through a couple of years later and do the exact same thing themselves because once one industry player makes a change, the rest of them see that it's accepted and then they follow suit. So this could have um, potential impact on Creality printers down the line. Not saying that Creality is going to do that. I'm just saying that this is how things like this work. Someone wants to put subscription for heated seats in a car and then they all want to do it. So um, you just have to pay attention and look outside of the box when things like this are happening. Uh, this is all happening right now, so um, if you do own a bamboo printer, there's an update coming which is going to prevent you from writing to the printer. And obviously there's a lot of community concern about this, and bamboo has responded to this, and um, some of the concerns they've addressed. So, but uh, the critical operations here that they first announced will say unbinding and binding the printer. That's kind of expected. Um, in initiating uh, remote video access, so you won't be able to turn the camera on. Uh, performing firmware updates, of course. Um, initiating a print job via LAN or cloud mode. So this basically means that you'll no longer be able to send a job to the printer, aka write to the printer, so command to do things. Um, so you, if you're not using the Bamboo Slicer or, or an authorization, um, their control authorization, you're not going to be able to uh, print to the printer, which is where Orca Slicer may be blocked. And then obviously controlling the motion system. So that basically just means controlling the fans and the AMS and that, which they're saying that someone could remotely do if they hack into your printer. And then they go on to things that don't require authorization. So sending status information um, so from the printer, so status push for tools like Home Assistant, starting a print job using an SD card, of course, so you still be able to put a file on SD card and print, and then general operations outside of the listed authorizations controls. So they can change this, they could add more to it, they can remove it. So um, yeah, time will tell what they're playing at. Now, um, they have responded to some community pushback because obviously 
people have jumped to conclusions that this may end up um, having worse effects down the line and we only need to follow other companies and see what's going on in the world to see what these types of things can lead to. So a lot of the community um, had a concern of they can, Bamboo Lab can remotely disable your printer, aka brick it. Um, if you look at a company like Cricut, uh, who makes uh, die cutting machines, which my wife uses, they have the ability to um, shut the machine down and um, brick it, basically disable it. So when your Cricut machine breaks under warranty and you want it replaced or whatever, they don't ask you to send the machine back. They leave you the machine and they just send you out a whole new one. And that machine, um, the second you plug it into the network or your Cricut or whatever, it'll literally disable itself and you cannot use it. It's done. So when you're looking at um, people worrying about can Bamboo Labs remotely do this, their Bamboo's saying that they won't do this, but the possibility is there, you know? So and that's why people are getting concerned. Uh, firmware updates will block your ability to print was another one that people had concerned. Look, a firmware update can crash your printer. and <laughs> That can, you know, that can happen, so... Um, it's kind of, I don't think they're intentionally going to block your ability to print. Um, AMS functionality will be restricted, and then the use of third-party filaments will be disabled. Um, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think they're going to try and force you to use AMS filaments. Um, but you just don't know in the future. They could lock it down and force this. You just don't know. So, um they're saying they're not going to do this for the time being. Obviously, that's where it may be. Um, Bamboo Lab firmware contains Trojans for authorised remote control. Look, that's just, uh, that's silly. I don't think that they need to put a Trojan into their own um, software. They've already got telemetry built into it, so they don't need to have unauthorised access to your machine. Um, that, that's just uh, silly in my opinion. Uh, the printers have a timed kill switch that disables them after a certain period. Um, this could potentially be that people are worried that if you don't connect it to the internet or connect to their servers in a certain amount of time, sort of like a Microsoft activation with Windows, um, there's certain activation events where um, if you don't connect to the network or the internet so it can communicate with a volume licensing server within, say, 180 days, It'll deactivate itself. It won't stop the Windows working, but it'll um, become unlicensed until it can connect and relicense. So I'm guessing that's maybe where they're kind of um, thinking of a timed kill switch, which forces you to make sure that you're always uh, putting the printer on the on the network. And this could also fall into them forcing um, updates onto the printer when this happens. So that is uh, generally a you know a concern that is valid because um, they might do that they might say well you've got uh, you have to connect the printer to uh, the network within one year or something or it'll shut down and say you must connect but they're saying they're not going to do this again um, time will tell all 3d files are printed are monitored duplicated and stolen um, look you got no idea uh, when you're using the cloud and you're uploading uh, files to their servers you're putting it on their server and then it's sending it to your printer. So, uh, look, it's always going to be the fact that when you're putting something onto the cloud or another person's server, that they've got access to that data. So they're saying they don't, you don't know. And um, look, that's always going to be concerned with a, a cloud um, printer that where you require the cloud. So if you do have um, proprietary designs that you don't want other people to have access to, then this may be a concern of yours. For most people in hobbies and stuff like that, you don't really care for that. And then lastly, this is the big one, is that a subscription will be mandatory to use your printer. Now, the Bamboo is saying that they're not doing that, but again, if you look at a company like Cricut, uh, they have a subscription to use their machine. Even though you pay six or seven hundred dollars for the cutter, you need a subscription monthly to 
um, use the machine to its full abilities. And um, yeah, so you, you, um, you can still use the machine, but not till its fullest, so functions are disabled. Um, this was one of my concerns always, is that when you have something that's locked into an ecosystem and it requires connectivity and all the rest of it, that um, at some stage they'll turn around and go, well, we want to start charging a subscription to maintain the servers, and it'll start at $2 a month or something, you know, 12 bucks a year, whatever, you know, 24 bucks a year. Um, and then it just goes from there. And then you, you're like a Netflix account where every year they're just smashing on dollars to watch the same crappy content. So this is a concern. They're claiming they're not going to do it, but, you know, you don't know what's going to happen in two or three years' time. So you can understand why the community is getting upset because this is sort of the first step that a lot of people have talked about. Now, there's a guy, um, Lewis Rossman, in the US. He's an advocate for right to repair. Um, I've followed him for years since he was fixing MacBooks. Um, he, he taught me a lot of stuff about my um, component soldering and stuff through his videos. And, yeah, so he's a big right to repair advocate in the United States. And... Um, He's seen this type of stuff. He follows Apple and all of that. So you go watch his videos on it and he'll kind of talk about what's going on. So what he's actually done is he's started a wiki on the Bamboo Lab authorization control system. And of course, I'll put the links to all of this in the description. And what this is doing is just giving you the potentials, you know, um, just talking about some of the talking points that have gone through here and um, he's following it, so he's really good for this. Um, I suggest you go subscribe to him. And um, him and Mr. Clinton and Blackberry kind of, you know, keep a tab on all of these types of people or companies. And then um, I just have to say that it wasn't too long after the Bamboo Labs had uh, pushed all of this out that somebody cracked the... Um, the authorization system so they've pulled the private keys and stuff like that from the software so it's already been reverse engineered so the community's pushing back as it is and um yeah so anyway that's kind of just to update you about what's going on with some of the bamboo stuff uh, it's not the best outcome for a lot of people that have bamboo printers uh, some people might just go i don't care you know but at the end of the day once they you know, if in a year's time or something they tell you you have to pay 10 bucks a month to use your printer, what are you going to say then? So it's always best to push back on this type of stuff. Uh, make sure if you have an X1 series printer, let Bamboo know that you're not happy with these types of changes if it affects you. If you use Orca Slicer and they're cutting you off from doing that, well, that's not a very good thing because you didn't buy... A 3D printer to be told that you need to have it secured so you can't do things. Uh, that might be good for a lot of just people that don't know what they're doing. And look, I agree with the security aspect. You don't want people messing with your stuff. But for a lot of people, um, it's going to be more of a hindrance than, you know, something that's going to help them. So if this does concern you, you definitely want to get onto Bamboo and push back against it. Plenty, I'm pretty sure there's lots of Reddit threads and a lot of videos and a lot of people talking about it right now. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd share the information too because um, everyone needs to know about it because this could have um, potential impacts for us all in the future. This is not the direction that we want um, the 3D printing community to go in. We don't want to be in a lockdown ecosystem with subscriptions and all of that type of stuff. The, uh, the community's always been like an open-sourced um, community that works together to overcome a lot of the stuff and slowly uh, these companies are turning it into this just profitable, I don't know. It's not where we want to head anyway, you know, like um, all the people behind Marlin, all the people behind Clipper, there's a lot of people there. A lot of these printers that they, we're paying for these days from Bamboo and Creality, they're all using source that were created by these people that have um, put all of this out there and they've done it on their own time and they've never asked anything for it. So it's kind of sad that we're heading this way. 
So if you can, if you've got a machine, push back. Anyway, um, yeah, on to the next one. I hope that helps.